Suppose you have a set of textures for the color and a normal map. Let's see how we can add them to your 3D model in Blender. Here we have the default cube, select it and in the materials tab, add a new material. I like to use two extra windows when texturing, so let's click here and divide the window vertically, then click again and make a horizontal window division. Here we open the shader editor and in this other window we open the UV editor. In the corner and in the description I will leave you a detailed video on how to open and close windows in Blender. So, in order to add textures to your 3D model, you're gonna need to define a UV map for the model. This is the default cube, so it comes with a UV map by default. UV mapping is a big topic itself, you will need to study different techniques to achieve the best results, but since this isn't our focus right now, here's a simple way to do it. Select your 3D model, go to edit mode, press A a couple of times to select all the vertices of the model, now at this moment, in the UV editor window, you should be seeing the UV map of the 3D model. If you don't see anything, you will need to create the UV map. And to do it, here you can simply press U, select Smart UV Project and press OK. That usually makes a good job. Now we can add the textures. Press Z and change to the Material Preview mode. Then in the Shader Editor, press Shift A and look for the Image node. Open your color texture and then connect the color node of the image to the base color input of the principal PSDF shader. Now your model should display a texture. You can play with the UV map to get different results. Now let's add the normal map. For that we can duplicate the image node with Shift D. Open the normal map. You need to change the color space to non-color. Then press Shift A and look for the Normal Map node. Connect this color output to the color input of the Normal Map node. Then connect the Normal Output to the Normal Input of the Principal BSDF shader. Now your model has normals and it will produce different shadows based on the lighting conditions. But to see that you need to press Z, change to the rendered mode and play a little bit with the light source. That's all for this video. Here you have a playlist with more short videos about Blender. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.